Hello, I'm Professor Catherine Clark, and one of my roles here in the Centre for the History of People, Place and Community is as Director of the Victoria County History of England. That's an ongoing project to write the history of every county in England from the very earliest times to the present day. The project was founded in 1899 and dedicated to Queen Victoria, that's how it gets its name. We currently have around 17 active counties all across England and much of our work is done by volunteers. So do explore whether you'd like to get involved. The Victoria County History is famous for its iconic red books of county history. And this year we've tried a new project in the VCH. We've sent every active county a specially customised VCH red box. And we've invited counties to fill them with objects that tell the story of their places in quirky or surprising or personal ways. It's been a great opportunity to explore the way that objects can tell stories from history and the way that local communities can come together to explore and share those stories. Here's one object that I really love, and this is from the red box for the Victoria County history of Hampshire. If you can see here, we have two musket balls, one's round and one flattened. And these come from Oliver Cromwell's siege of Basing House in 1645. The flattened musket ball hit the walls of the house and fell to the ground. The round musket ball rolled out of the end of a musket held by a soldier on the walls. A soldier who, in their panic, hadn't loaded their musket properly and the musket ball just rolled away. So I think this is fascinating, an object that tells stories both big, the English Civil War, and very small, the micro story of one individual standing nervously on the walls of Basing House that day. I think my favourite object from the Nottinghamshire Victoria County History Box is possibly the sheet of music. It's a piece by Eric Coates, who was born in 1886 in Hucknall in Nottinghamshire, and he was famous for light music. The Dambusters March is, I think, one that most people will know. You may also, if you're old enough, remember In Town Tonight, where his march from the London Suite made the introductions, and even further back, Music While You Work, which was on the radio, uh, it was his piece called Calling All Workers. There's a little sticker on the music that says Boots Orchestra Society, and that was an, is an orchestra which still continues and has been going, run by, under the auspices of, of the Boots Works. I've played in that orchestra and I've played that piece of music with them. One other thing that perhaps is a little bit different is the little glass with a logo on it. It was from the Festival of Britain in 1951 and Trowell in Nottinghamshire for some reason was chosen as the typical English village. We're all a little bit puzzled as to why it got that title but perhaps because it was in the middle of the country and had a fairly unusual name. This is the, the blue tie um, for the, the Martin Baker um, Aircraft Ejection Seat Company. And it's awarded to uh, people, pilots, who have ejected using the Martin Baker ejector seats that are made and tested at Chowgrove Airfield in South Oxfordshire. And the company's been there since 19, the 1940s. Together, the people who are awarded this tie together form the Ejection Tie Club uh, a very elite group of, of um, pilots who have ejected using this pilot, this ejector seat. Um, Chowgrove was covered in our volume 18, uh, published a few years ago, 
and we've just published volume 19 um, last month. This bit of the cabinet, which is the uh, red box for the County of Norfolk, which is an extra, actually. I mean, most of these red boxes are put together by um, organisations producing Victoria County history text for publication. It's a very vibrant local history community up there, and because I studied in Norwich and know the city well, and the county well, um, got a lot of contacts in the local history community, and this came out about via Twitter. Um, what would you put in a Norfolk red box? That was the question. Um, and some of the suggestions that come back include, well, my, my personal favourites, um, because I'm a medieval historian and because the family connection with the county, um, are this, which is a li little pewter replica pilgrim's badge um, from the shrine of Our Lady of Walsingham, which is in the north of the county. Um, you've got two eagles forming an M, a crown, which is symbolised symbolising the Virgin Mary. Um, which is an interesting site because not only was it one of the principal shrines in medieval Britain, but also in the, in the late 19th century it was revivified, re resurrected as a shrine um, by the Anglo-Catholic community. Um, so it's still a centre of pilgrimage today. It's a place which is a centre of devotion and pilgrimage for the best part of a thousand years. Um, and that's nicely symbolic of that, as well as being a very attractive thing. Um, the original was actually found in Salisbury, which gives you an idea of how sort of widespread the cult was. The other, the other thing I particularly like is this lump of flint, um, which seems prosaic, um, but flint is the best stone available in Norfolk. It's a principal feature of um, all sorts of buildings, from field barns to, to the cathedral, to abbeys, to ch ev pretty much every parish church. And this lump there of its squared off face comes from one of Norwich's churches, um, one of Norwich's, I think, 35, 36 surviving medieval churches, and the flat off face is called flush work. The idea is you have a whole wall put together of a mosaic of this sort of shiny black flint um, made to look, to reflect the light to, and, and at the same time absorb it. And it, the effect is really quite striking. Um, and we've been very kindly loaned that by um, the uh, Norwich Historic Churches Trust. And it's just hugely reminiscent for me of going around churches in the county and in the city of, Nor city of Norwich um, and the different things that can be done with it. And the, 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 what a place looks like is also difficult to do with its buildings, how we react to it, how we interact and how we think of it. Um, and, Flint, and Flint is Norfolk because it's the only stone you've got. It's in all the fields, it's in all the buildings, it's in all the houses. Um, and it's way, and it's a, it is sort of the bones of the county, if you like.